Today in Pal World, I'm going to be setting up an adjoining base and ore farm. I'm going to let you guys know where this location is that I'm setting up in and everything I needed to do in order to move bases from where I started. Hey guys, welcome in. I'm April Honey. If you're new here, welcome. If you would like to see more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe down below. So let's get started. The first thing I wanted to do, of course, was create some storage, any kind of storage would do. I need to transfer all of my things from my first base. My first base was in the ruins behind the Plateau of Beginnings, which is a great base to build on don't get me wrong it is a lot of fun but my pals get stuck everywhere and i needed something a little bit more wide open for those guys to not get so lost so i came over here i pretty much destroyed everything hindsight i would have just done it all in one go and been overweight for the trip back um, and that would have been fine but i didn't do that and i just kind of went back and forth a million and a half it felt like a million and a half times it was probably like 40 or 50 times in all reality and then I just transferred all of the materials over and the reason I did that is because I worked hard for those materials and I really just didn't want to lose everything I am playing on my own um, personal server with my husband and it's just been a lot of fun to play together and to not that we actually do a lot of things together but just to be able to play on the same server or in the same location or go look at each other's things every here and there. And that's just been a really good time for me. So it's one of the more fun ways to play for me. Now I went and destroyed everything at my first base, which of course was absolutely necessary. All of the materials and everything. And I sold all of the things that I needed to get rid of to the merchants over in the, I think it was over by the desert. It doesn't matter where. Anyways, I sold it to the merchants, basically, <laughs> and we're going to keep going. I'm going to go back for the final trip to the location that we set up in, which is right over by the Verdant Brooks. I think the coordinates are negative 21 by 98. It is a really awesome location. I don't know why I let Anubis out because he ended up getting in the way and I had to put him away. The first thing I wanted to do um, was just to set up where I was going to have my pal sleeping. So I'm making this little barn. It's not the most aesthetic barn, honestly, because I haven't unlocked all of the furniture items yet. And the reason for that is because in my early gameplay, I'm one of those players who likes to accomplish all of the things and unlock all of the weapons and all of the uh, game essential items first and then the, the aesthetic items second. That's always a little bit more my priority. So. That's where I went and put all of my technology points um, in my gameplay right now. And so like I don't have like a lot of things for huge aesthetic builds. I will be getting into huge aesthetic builds because that's more my thing and what I like to do as far as decorating. But for the initial gameplay experience, I wanted to make sure that I did play the game and set up the way I would if I was actually, you know, wanting to accomplish something in the game. So that is where we're at right now. I wish that these roofs were easier to place, but they're really not. So I had to build the slanted roof all the way down in order to get it over to the top. And I'm just going to make like a barn like structure and I'm going to put like beds inside of it for my pals. I know that most of my pals are too big to actually sleep in here, but if you have any kind of bed for them, it's going to be okay because they'll sleep wherever they sleep. But all you need to have is a bed for that pal so as long as you have enough beds and i just wanted the beds to be out of the way quite honestly this is a very temporary structure i am going to go back and make more aesthetic structures on my um on my setup but i'm trying to kind of keep everything around the perimeter and a little bit out of the way i don't want um things to be completely out of the way i wanted everything around the perimeter and the reason for that is because i don't want my pals getting stuck because um, the because this is a public server, I mean, it's my server that I pay for, but it's a public server. So um, the pals need to get put away. They do get stuck. Uh, they're more prone to neglect because the server stays on 24 hours a day. 
and I just don't want, I want everything to be very convenient and accessible for them for if I do take them out in the morning, especially when I'm breeding pals and I let them breed all day, I want them to not get stuck and starve. So that's just my preference. So that is why I kind of set it up the way I did. I realized here that I needed a back wall there. I don't know why. You know, the pals are super funny. After this was set up, they went in and they, they're like inside the barn and watering the seeds outside from the inside of the barn. I, I don't understand them. That's just what they do. So anyways, I didn't want to put any doors on this because then they wouldn't go inside ever, ever. And the small pals do sleep in it. So I want to make sure that it was a little bit accessible to them and I didn't want the front of it covered up. Besides that, I do live in the south and the barns that I I see, they stay open. They have like a large door that stays open during the day and then they close them up at night. And I wanted to give off that kind of feeling. I know there are better pieces that I can use later in the game, but I haven't unlocked them yet. and. I will at some point um, when I, as I unlock more things, I will be changing a lot of this out. But for right now, it works. It's functional. It's it's functional and it doesn't look terrible. And that's really all that mattered, right? So we want to have everything set up so that our pals can at least exist here. My pals are all put away right now, uh, just for convenience sake. I don't want them running around while I'm trying to figure out what's going where. I decided to go against having a logging and a rock station here and mostly the reason for that is because there's so many trees and so many rocks already naturally occurring and I have like 30,000 wood at this point and I really just don't want any more uh, right now. Now if I get to a point where I do need wood I will make one but right now it's just it's just not high on my priority list. And I feel like anytime I set up anywhere where there's any type of trees, the pals definitely cut the trees down. So it took me forever to figure out how to do this little railing with the benches. I wanted it with the benches because eventually I wanna put plants on there. I haven't had a chance to make the plants and stick them on there because I was more worried about the structure in the moment but I do want to put plants on there and make it cute at some point. So I made a little railing out of this, the little benches and the small storage box. I also figured the pals could just throw things in the storage bins whenever they, they encounter something that they want to put away. Even though I do have a huge storage container, it's, it really, um, it's in one corner of the base and they can't always get to it. So, that's fine too. And then Anubis wasn't Anubising, so I did end up having to like pick him up and t drop him every time I wanted him to build something for me, which at the very end was kind of annoying. So I left a lot of this in just to show you how much of a struggle I was having lining things up. For some reason, I could not get any of these boxes or anything to sit right, but it did It did finally work out in the end. I am happy with it. It's gonna be sad when I tear this down and I have to do this again and set up something different, but most definitely we will be setting up something different. The way this was set up though is super, super convenient and I was really happy with it. The ne very next thing I decided to do was set up my plantations in front of this little barn situation. I just thought it was a good place to set up and I always see like wheat fields and stuff on the way into barns and on ranches and stuff where I'm from. So I just thought it would be a fun, cute little thing. Now I learned this bench trick from the ranch. You can stack the wheat plantations or all of the plantations actually. You can go ahead and stack those on top of each other one over the other using benches you just put one bench on top of the other you place the plantation where it would naturally pop up oh, there's a whole tutorial on it and then you place the plantation and then you do the same below it you have to start with the top plantation first I don't know that there's any limit to how many you can make, but she does show you how to do three. I will put a link to the video that I used in order to learn this down in the description below. She's absolutely amazing. 
you should definitely go and check her out. She's shown me some really cool things for when I do start decorating in the game aesthetically, which I cannot wait to do. I'm not there yet, but at some point I will be decorating a really pretty, pretty base. If you are interested in aesthetic building, my friend Jersey Games likes to do a lot of really aesthetic builds in Power World, which are really, really cool. My base is right now, it is functional for a mid-tier player and it's good for breeding. You can get to everything. It's a very wide open and it is working for me. As I go along and unlock more items, I'm going to make it prettier. So hopefully if you guys want to see that, you'll stick around for it. But I wanted to show you right now at least how to set up a base that is just very convenient. So we did the, the wheat plantations on one side. I'm doing the tomato plantations on the other. If you cannot, again, if you can't catch um, my movements and what I'm doing in order to make this happen, I will link a video to the tutorial that I followed in order to do this. Um, it's a really cool trick. I really like it. You can stack a lot of things in Power World right now, which is a lot of fun. The last thing I did, which shouldn't have been the last thing because the whole reason I built the barn was to place the beds in it. But I went ahead and I placed all of the beds and um, put them in the barn. I know, big shocker, right? I did place all of the pal beds inside of the barn. I use the mostly the most basic ones for right now. Later on, I will make cuter ones. But for right now, I just use these basic ones because I, I was just trying to get everything built kind of in a hurry with as little materials as humanly possible because it was all going to be torn apart. And that's less things to come apart into my pockets later on when I tear it down. But for right now, for at least for the next couple weeks until I get to level 50, I just want to have something that works for right now. And this kind of does it for me. I was really happy with how it came out. So Anubis has been a great help on this um, on this base. I was going to say on this island because I'm an animal crosser. And island is just default to my brain. But on this base, Anubis has been incredibly helpful. I love him and he's super helpful. I put the berry plantations over here on the sides of the deck. And actually, my pals worked them just fine. I was concerned at first that they weren't going to. It ended up working out pretty good for me. So if you wanted to try something like that, no worries, your pals will get to them. The next thing I wanted to do was put in the breeding station, which is really the whole point of this entire base right here. I'm still breeding pals, most especially to level up the pals that I already have. It's kind of, it's kind of a lot breeding is, right? There's so much breeding happening here. Anyways, right next to the breeding station, I wanted to put my farm, um, and it, they're just placeholders right now because I do want to set up a whole little ranch area in this area right here, and I want it to be really cute. So I'm just kind of placing those there so I know that that spot is kind of reserved for it. And it ended up, I, and I think that's a good place for it right now. I don't know where to put the hot springs, but I'm going to go ahead and set it down anyway because the animals need it. So we're just going to place it right over here. The pals do find it. They still get to the berry area. Everything's super functional and we're doing really well with that so far in the game. I haven't had any pals get stuck on this base at all in any way. So that's that's like one of the most important things to me right now in my gameplay is that I'm not getting, my pals aren't getting stuck. So if that's important to you, just know that the functionality of this base is working out really well right now, even if it's not the most aesthetic base. Now I am going to make it prettier at some point because I just, I just can't with a not cute base. But right now this is working out really well. And for the fact that it was moving and I only had three or four hours to kind of set everything up um, and moving a base from one end of the map to the other was no small task at all. So I wanted to make my workstation along this edge over here and I, I'm going to end up moving it to the middle because I have some regrets. Mainly that I covered up a charcoal deposit that was un directly underneath this right here. 
And my pals had hit it, so I didn't realize that that was the exact location where it was. So I ended up building my little workstation over that deposit. So it'll probably have to be moved. It's okay, I'm okay with it. For right now, this is still working and everything is working out pretty well. I did make all of my assembly line benches right here on this and it is just big enough and everything seems to be fine. I have some pretty large pals working on my base, not gonna lie, mostly because I like watching them walk around the base because they're big and clumsy looking and super cute. And they seem to be getting around okay and being able to get to everything. So, so far so good. If I start having pro problems, I will put smaller pals out and that should mitigate the problem. But for right now, I just like the way these pals look. They're so cute. In this area right here, I have to credit this to Miss Shelly Marie, the Deaf Peanut. She is just an amazing, she's not a content creator, but she's in everybody's um, channels and she's absolutely amazing. And she built this like structure to cover her containers and I thought it was so cool. So I went ahead and I tried it and I have um, now this little structure around my container. I just leave the door open on one side and I love the way it looks. The pals can still place things inside of it. So it is working out perfectly for me. If you guys are concerned about that or if you have a container that doesn't quite go with the rest of your build or the rest of your base, then have no fear. You can cover it up and it will still look fantastic and it'll still be functional for your pals. I don't know why I threw Anubis on the roof of there. Poor guy. He didn't deserve that from me. But anyways, I put the roof on. This was made over several endgame days, you guys. I was doing other things in between, so it might look a little bit disjointed, and I'm so, so sorry. This base, honestly, is really wide open. It is a really exceptional base, especially if you want to build something really pretty up here. It's right next to a mountain, so you can have that as a backdrop. I'm all about having terraforming and natural terraforming surrounding builds, and I love that. Also, where I made the ore farm right next to it, you'll see in a little bit later, making like a, a cliff top housing structure was really, really cool. I am probably gonna take away the stairs that lead to it because uh, the pals don't really need to get up there. As much as I love my pals, they really don't, they, they really don't need to be there. I don't know why I have hoot grates out on this base. I did put him away after this. I have no idea why I put him out at all. He really doesn't serve very much of a function, but I put this over here because I wanted to put my furnace and the PAL condenser and the electricity thing, the generator over here for my Rayhound to power up and that was really it. That's the only reason I put this this little platform right here. It's very functional. Like I said, everything on this base right now is very functional and that's the way I needed it to be. Piece by piece, I will be coming out with speed builds showing you as I turn these structures into way more aesthetic versions of the structures and as I pretty up this base. So if you guys are interested in seeing all of that process, then be sure to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you come back because it will be pretty. I promise you, it will. It's just right now we want it to be good and functional because functional is the name of my game right now. That's just where I'm at in life at this moment. Uh, honestly, it was because I was just building out the entire base in one go and building two bases at that. So I really didn't have the time to invest into making it really pretty all at once. And also just getting it all done and getting it all built, getting my last base disassembled, getting two bases up and running. It was just a lot. And I didn't have a whole lot of time to, to level up enough to unlock the rest of the items. As we speak right now, and as voiceover me is doing this right now, I actually have unlocked most of the decorational items up until level 40. And I will be starting the prettying up of this base. So be sure to tune in for 
the next versions of some of these builds and buildings and see what I'm, seeing what I do with the structures over here. I am trying to keep everything again on the perimeter right now because I am going to build in the center of the base and I wanted the center to be kind of like a statement and I wanted to like just kind of keep everything around it um, right now just all of the tools I need but then I'm going to make it look nice as we go along and I think that's going to be fun. So in here, this is going to be my little incubation chamber. I just want to, to incubate all of my eggs in one place, right? So I made these little cabinets because I like them, but also the storage is slightly bigger than the smaller chest and it's not as ugly as the wooden crate. And I wanted something to look nice. So I went ahead and I used this chest right here and built out um, three incubators. Side note, I ended up making three more because it didn't happen to be enough, but you know, it's fine. We live and learn, right? We learn what works for us. Build these out however, however is going to work for your own personal base. Honestly, I just like things right now to, to be where I can get to them. Everything is wide open. I can see everything. I can get to everything. Everything seems to be working in this moment right now, which I really like. In front of the wheat plantation, I put a little platform because I wanted, if Tom Battle move, because I wanted to put like a little feeding station and a place for the pals to put uh, the food that they harvested. So I went ahead and I put their food boxes up there. I moved everything. I did put stairs around all the sides because in my last base, I had issues with them getting stuck when they were hungry. And I didn't really want to deal with that this time. And in the little crack on the corner, I put the kettles just to kind of block that off so they couldn't get stuck again. So they couldn't get stuck because that that tends to be a big problem for the pals is that they get stuck a lot, right? Anyways, we went ahead and we built that out and then I started putting their boxes. I had to wait for them to move out of the way quite, quite often in order to get anything done. In hindsight, I probably should have placed this stuff before I let them free, but hey, hindsight is 2020, isn't it? And then I had to put a cooler down. I did find a great ice pal to keep everything cold later, um, but at the moment that I placed that down, I just knew I needed it, and I didn't have a pal to actually keep everything cool at that time. So this is the adjoining ore farm that I decided to use. And I made this stair system here. At first I started with the roof, the angled roof, and then I ended up going to stairs later on. So I'm not even gonna show you how I went about doing that because I ended up changing absolutely everything about it. On the top, I wanted to make like a barn situation, but not like a barn. I wanted it to be a walkthrough, like a tunnel, right? Just leading from one base to the other. I just wanted a little bit of a tunnel that you could walk through to get to my other base. So it was basically just going from the downstairs level of the ore farm all the way um, through the corridor and to my regular base. I ended up doing it a little bit low, so I had to change my structure plans in order to accommodate that because I really just didn't want to pick up all of the flooring. At this point, we're about three hours into building, so I just didn't want to. Now, I had an idea for how I wanted the structure of this to go. I wanted, I wanted a certain look for it, and I did have something in mind, and I wanted to adhere to that, and I thought it would look really cool at the top of the cliff, and it does. It looks so cool. The thing is that I don't want my pals to be able to get into it. Yes, their beds are there, but I don't want them to be able to get into it. So I think uh, I'm going to end up taking away the stairs. If they get there, they get there. And if they don't, it's fine too. I'm okay with that. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and close off the stairs, take those away a little bit because they're, they're not quite working for the build for me. And they're really just obstructing the ore farm down below. It is still a great idea to have this base combination with the ore farm though. It is working really nicely. There is another ore farm that is much better than this one. Don't get me wrong. It has like charcoal deposits and it's on the top of a cliff and it works really well. If you're like above level 30 in your game, 
it is a great, great place to be. This place, the pals near here are only about level 16. So if you're level 16, you're good to go for this base right here. It is a great early game dual base, which is why I chose it. I wanted to show you guys like what a really good like location for just when you unlock the second base, but maybe you're not far enough along the game to get like the really great charcoal deposit type bases because those can be really hard, you know? Anyways, this is not to say that this base is even permanent because I'm still mid game. I'm only level 35. Now I'm level 40 and I might, you know, decorate it, make it cute and then move bases, you know? So I know I'm saying, you know, like I'm having a conversation with you. I'm so sorry. I do tend to do my voiceovers like I'm having a conversation with you. I feel like I am having a conversation with you guys. You guys are like my friends now at this point. I've been talking to you for about 25 minutes, which makes you my friends because I don't talk to anyone for 25 minutes unless I consider them to be a friend. So welcome to the family. Welcome to the Sweetest Honey family. If you are still here right now, then I consider you to be my friend. So here we are. We are um, just building out this building. I wanted it to be kind of like a subway almost. You know what I mean? So in the corridor down the middle, I was thinking about putting the mine carts and just making it more like a subway kind of look. I just like the way that's going to look. In order to make that work, I do have to take away the pals access to it because I put my pals beds there, but we all know they don't sleep in the beds and it's you know, it's fine. They're just there to make the pals happy, but the pals don't even use them. So they're like kids. My kids have beds that they don't sleep in too, you know? So I feel like I'm going to take away the pals access to it. And then I'm going to aesthetically turn this into my vision for what I had with the building, which means probably rebuilding it in stone, making it a little more elevated and having the platform look down a little bit onto like a lower platform with the rail carts. But for right now, as I was experimenting with different building designs, I do like the way this one came out. I think it was a lot of fun to make. I had a great time putting the pieces together and I encourage you guys to do the same. Just experiment and do things that are fun for you and just play the game in the way that makes you happy, right? I always play games in the way that make me happy. The first time I play a game, I tend to do really go hard as far as leveling up and collecting all of the pals and just being a collector. And then after I get past that point, I go and I just decorate and I'm a decorator and I go back and I rebuild things and I decorate everything the way I want it to look. So everyone has a different way to, of playing that makes them happy. I would say to play the game the way that makes you happy. If you don't ever do anything aesthetic, that is a perfect way to play. If you're Jersey Games and you do everything aesthetic, then that's also a valid way to play. He's done aesthetic builds from the very, very beginning of his gameplay. I don't even venture into that until I'm about where I am right now. So everyone plays the game differently. I would encourage you to play in a way that suits you. Personally, I made this video for those of you who are at my place right now and who really are just barely starting experimenting with making buildings and for those of you who are on their mid game and unsure of where to make a base i feel like this base is a great suggestion for you i do have another profile and on my other profile i am working on leveling up there as well and as i level that up i am going to be doing more aesthetic things there as since i know how to just kind of grind leveling up now that I've played on this profile. That pro profile will be more for aesthetics and for building pretty things. The bases will probably change out pretty frequently in order to bring you guys more speed builds. And that was my plan for my other, my, my personal computer profile. And I'm really, really excited about that as well. As we're finishing up this build right here, all I'm doing is adding the remaining roof pieces. And I didn't put a door on the other side, as I said before. I did change out this roof right here for some stairs, 
but we're done and this is the final walkthrough this is what i have so far of my base i feel like it's very wide open it leaves me lots of room to build in the middle which was my goal my goal was literally to build in the middle and then i have that view of my other base over on the other side so i'm going to build this base up again from the middle and then work my way out and kind of overtake some of the functional things that i placed out for temporary on the other base and on this base i did have to make the walls so my pals wouldn't get stuck on the line right there because they they apparently don't know how they don't know boundaries they don't know invisible boundaries so we're gonna go inside and what i did here basically was i put my pal beds over on the side right there they never come in this house so i am probably going to take away these stairs leading down right here but i like the way this building came out i have to admit i do love the design of this building i'm gonna have to do more with it to decorate it and to zhuzh it up and to make it like a real home but i do think it's pretty cute i like it and then down here we have my pals doing their thing working working the land they've gotten most of the ore depart deposits for this time i have some really fast fast guys it does get satisfy all of the ore needs that i have right now it keeps like ammunition and it's good for keeping enough um, pal spears and everything that i need the space is doing everything that i need which i really really love i'm super happy to have these bases side by side i like the way that it goes with them i might build something in between in order to connect them like a little walkway or something i think that would be really cute but you guys do what you will with it hopefully you guys like this location and this build i know you can be anywhere in the entire world and you chose to hang out with me i appreciate you so much for that until next time bye mm -hmm.